Welcome to this installment of Capstan Ag's video series. I'm Sam Marks and today we'll be learning about drawing maps with CapMaps, the boundary control software for Pinpoint 2. From your desktop, go ahead and open the CapMap software. Go to your file drop down menu and choose New Map. Now this is going to automatically come up as a Google Map, so a Street View Map. <coughs> We can use this street view map to zoom into the location that we want to find. To zoom, you can either use the center roll button on your mouse or the plus button on the screen. To drag the map, left click and hold, and that allows you to move the map where you need it to. We'll keep zooming in to where our field is. Now it could be a little easier to switch from Google Maps over to Google Satellite or another satellite version. Uh, this allows you to actually see a field view. We'll zoom in just a little bit more. So now that we have the field in view, we can go ahead and start a polygon. We can come over to the field and begin to drop points by simply right clicking. You can also name the latitude and longitude or enter the latitude and longitude of each point as you go. The closer together you make your points, the better that curve will look. So for long straights, you don't need to add a lot of points, but around especially sharper curves, just put in a few extra points and that will help, help get you as close to the edge of that field or as close to the edge of that curve as possible. When we're done dropping points, you can either double click your last point or choose Stop Polygon. Now this will bring up a prompt to enter the field name. We'll just call this Map1. Select OK. You can draw additional polygons on the same map by choosing Start Polygon and placing points. Or if you want to specify a No Spray Zone, choose Start Polygon, and then come into your previously made map and begin dropping points. Now this could be for a waterway, a shed, a grove of trees. Once you're done, you can once again double click or choose Stop Polygon. This has now created a no spray zone specified in the black in the red spray zone. To save the map, we go back to the File drop-down menu and choose Save as Pinpoint 2 Map. Now, if we only save as a Pinpoint 2 Map, uh, that file can no longer be opened in the Cap Maps viewer. Um, so if you want to view this again or edit this, you'll want to save it as a shape file as well. But in order to get it onto the Pinpoint 2 Cap view, go ahead and choose Pinpoint 2 Map. Make sure that we're loading it into a external thumb drive. Choose the map name. So this was map one and select save. Now this map's ready to be uploaded onto the Pinpoint 2 cap view and you'll be ready to go and spray a boundary. Thanks for learning with us today from everyone at Capstan Ag. For more information, contact our team at capstanag.com.